So we are here today at Lynn ABC with Juicy Lucy ahead of our card on 26th of October. How are you feeling today, champ? Uh, I'm feeling good. Um, I lost my last fight, but it was a title fight. So yeah, I'm just coming back, coming stronger. And then I'm looking to go back for that title. Maybe another title at a different weight. I don't really care, but I'm, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good about this fight. Amazing. So I, I really like that. T talk to us, for those who are sort of meeting you for the first time, how did you get into boxing? Um, so I saw a white collar and I was like, well, this seems interesting. And I just decided to do it. Mm -hmm. um, don't know why. Uh, but I've also had diabetes since I was four years old. Mm -hmm. So type 1 diabetes and sports don't always go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And I've seen like stuff about diabetics and type 1 diabetes and it used to not be allowed to be done in the amateurs of straight up no they've changed that recently there's one pro boxer who's a type 1 diabetic and yeah I just want to prove to people that you can do it because I've done horse riding all my life and I was proving to people at that point yeah you can do it doesn't matter you're different you have to look after yourself in a different way but there's no reason why you can't do it but it's helped me take control of my diabetes help my mental health with it um, but yeah I also like punching people I love that. So you've, since you started boxing, you've had health benefits around your, di uh, around your diabetes, uh, mental health benefits as well, yeah. and you get to punch people as well. Yeah. So it's a, it's a triple winner. Awesome. And so talk to us, is this your first fight on the Fight Zumi card, or was your last title fight on Fight Zumi as well? Yeah, yeah. The uh, last fight was on Fight Zumi. I did the first Fight Zumi as well, just fought on it. Um, I've done other fights in between as well. Um, was on the BXGP the first time, but yeah, so I've mainly been with these guys, but then they've found me other fights to go and do, but yeah, Fight Zoom is great, especially for women, can I point out, because they actually care about women, so. Absolutely, and that is a growing area, you know, we just saw Sky Nicholson last weekend yeah. fighting Saudi Arabia, first time a women's title fight over there, so um, women's boxing is really on the rise. Now. Again, we've got the fight coming up 26th of October, so less than a week to go now. What do you know about your opponent? I actually don't know much. Um, all I know is that she's from Southampton. Uh, she seems like a decent fighter. I watched, I could only find one fight of hers, but she was decent. She wants to box, whereas my last fight just turned into an absolute scrap. Um, but this girl, when I watched her, she wants to box. She wants to try different things. She's not there just to like scrap. So I feel like it's going to be a proper challenge. I can actually use my technique rather than just go in there and start swinging and hoping for the best. Um, and yeah, don't know much. It is, I am fighting heavier than I was. Okay. Um, so it was meant to be 70, now it's 73. And I fought 67 the last time, 65 before that. So like I said, I'm, I'm open to fight any weight. Mm. So if it means I could eventually get to a title, yeah. I want to prove that I can do it. Amazing. So it sounds like this is really, um, you know, it sounds like there's a lot of motivation in terms of wanting to fight to almost prove that even with diabetes, you can still be strong, fit and healthy. Um, but also you're, you're fighting towards getting that title. Is that one of those goals that you set out for yourself? Oh, yeah, massively. Uh, I'm really, really competitive, especially with myself. Um, so... Yeah, I want that title. I don't, I don't care what comes in between. I want that title. And then I want another title. And then I want to defend the titles. Amazing. So again, two titles and a title defense. I love that. <laughs> Power of a great vision. Now, again, I'm sure your fan base is growing. So those who are watching this and want to follow you, where's the best place to follow you? What's your account handles? Um, my Instagram, uh, which is Lucy, L-U-C-Y, B-X-R. Yeah. Okay, amazing. And where can they buy tickets to, to support you this weekend? Uh, there's a link in my bio. But, or you can come to Fight City Gym. I'm a manager there. Um, I've got physical tickets as well. So come along, support. Shout out to Fight City as well. Um, but yeah. Lovely. So again, so there you have it. So we've got tickets at Fight City. We've got tickets on, through the link on your Instagram page. And um, final message for the fans or sponsors um, to inspire, motivate and empower them on their journeys. Um, honestly, my biggest goal is to try and get more people with health issues that think they can't do stuff like this. If you can be medically like given the okay, why not do it? Like, there's nothing holding you back. So yeah, my, 
big shout out to all the diabetics, but yeah, we need to see more diabetics getting into things like this and not holding themselves back because they think they can't control it or you know someone's gonna say they can't do it. And what? Prove them wrong. There we go. You heard it here first. Prove them wrong.